Hey guys, welcome back to some World of Warships. Today we're going to look at the Brisbane again, since this ship is back in the armory now, and you can get it for 252,000 coal, which is really nice to see. This, of course, was one of those event ships that we were promised we would get later, and then it took a long time to come out. Uh, this ship, if you didn't know, is pretty much a Minotaur that gets some HE and has a 12 kilometer radar but you don't get a smoke now. So you're forced into that radar minotaur role and it works pretty well. My main complaint with it back when I first looked at it was the DPM. There has to be some sacrifices here since this would be pretty insane if it got minotaurs normal DPM and HE here. So yeah, we have a 4.4 second reload. That includes reload mod here. So a pretty big hit to our DPM. It's still decent. Um, but we're just even slightly behind Des Moines HE DPM, which is still fine. At tier 10, we're uh, better than Yodo DPM. <laughs> um, and it's decent DPM, but I'm still going to try and skew my build towards trying to maximize that gun power. Last time, I definitely had concealment on my commanders, going a full conceal build. And 12.6 kilometer detect here isn't great. Um, it could definitely be a lot better if you didn't take heavy AG and you didn't take top grade gunner. If you're going for that route, it is probably a little easier to play. Um, but since my main complaint was damage, I may as well try and maximize damage at the cost of concealment and some ease of use here. Survivability wise, we have an okay health pool. We do of course still have those amazing heals. So we're gonna definitely be taking superintendent for that reason. Other than that, the AP is still going to do some really good damage here, but the problem will be you don't have the short fuses like the Minotaur and you don't have the improved pen angles like the Minotaur. So you're definitely going to rely a lot more on HE and that's why I've taken a lot of these skills to hopefully boost our HE power. Fortunately the HE does pen 30 millimeters, so you're really not missing out too much if you don't take IFHE, you're only missing out on battleships, which is pretty significant, but a lot of those at this tier have a very massive superstructure that you can just farm pretty easily and we want to retain that fire chance which unfortunately still rests at 11 percent uh which seems a little low when we compare it to i don't know let's say a gdansk that also has 11 percent fire chance <laughs> maybe not the most fair comparison considering how gdansk is maybe a little overtuned, but you get the idea brisbane here it lacks some damage, in my opinion, so I'm going to try and maximize that as much as I can, even at the sacrifice of some ease of use here on concealment. But aside from that, it really just is a Minotaur, so we do have ourselves the same massive Citadel, very easy to overmatch, so that's going to be pretty tricky to deal with. Uh, one other thing it gets over Minotaur is actually the depth charge airstrikes. Uh, yeah. You get a premium, well, you get the better airstrikes you can actually deal with subs, unlike a uh, poor Minotaur over here where they just drop off the side of your ship and you're really never going to be able to use those, unfortunately. A uh, little bit of premium bias there, I would say. Um, it's very nice to have, though, I ain't going to lie. And then the last thing will be the torpedoes. They really seem to want you to go all in on these torps. They are 13 and a half kilometers, which is quite nice. You do get 20 of them, 10 on each side, which is a pretty nice amount of torpedoes. They do decent damage. Their speed is just kind of okay, I would say. But you notice here they have these new recommended upgrades uh, ever since the most recent patch, which is nice. Uh, but you can tell it's a very torp-focused ship, at least uh, on Wargaming's end. And even here in the Commander, they are definitely looking for you to take some more of these torp builds. So. Not what I'm doing, I'm a little more reliant on guns personally, but I might have to try a full torp build at some point on this thing if I can't get this uh, full damage focused build to work out of the main guns at least. But let's see what we can do today. I think this should be pretty fun, although I think this thing is also banned in clan battles right now, just based on this season, so a little awkward that it comes out and then is instantly not available to play in uh, the current clan battle season. So getting into our first game here, we do get ourselves very few battleships in this one. A lot of cruisers, which could be fun. Uh, I was looking to see how we'd farm battleships, to be honest, but let's see what we can do here against all these cruisers. A few DDs, one sub, no carrier to deal with, fortunately. Although the AA here should be pretty good, since of course Minotaur is decent at that. 
Here we go. Lacking concealment means we can't just do the whole spotted radaring idea. But we'll try it here. Perhaps, yeah, there we go. They do typically run in a little ways towards us. So, Grozovoy, Shell Arcs. Okay, get us a fire right away. That's pretty nice. Not sure what this guy's exactly thinking. Oh, speaking of what is this guy thinking, uh, there's an island in front of us. Hey, good thing there's not many battleships. <laughs> uh, lucky us. All right, first game of the day. Yep, we're playing very well. Also, I think I messed up one of my settings. Uh, my free look here is a little awkward to use. Yeah. Okay, we're off the island. Feels good. So 30 mil pen here does allow us to actually do some pretty good damage here into this Mogami. Whenever this guy goes dark or we're behind this island, I definitely need to fix this. Uh, I was doing the whole testing room or training room thing where I'm trying to figure out how... Uh, it's this one here. I'm trying to figure out how to actually aim and not get screwed over. <laughs> and... Well, uh, I was messing around with settings a lot, so I kind of did a little too much, I think. Okay, enemy minnow is very spooky. So, let's try and out-accelerate his shells here. You can do a lot of speed juking in minotaur-type ships, which is quite nice. Ouch. Yeah, that definitely hurts. We should get the girls here. Yes, there we go. Nice. That's quite good. Brandenburg on his way in. That's awesome. Now, do I or do I not heal? That's going to be the question. That's going to be the question. I mean, it's actually possible he runs into these torps. I actually don't know. But it's possible. Nah, he's going to turn away. That's okay. We'll push back in. They lost their DD, so we may as well get a little more aggressive. Zooming out one tick here to try and land some easier shells. Oh yeah, by the way, the commander I don't think is available. I still have the special event commander from that time. So unfortunately, that seems to be the time-limited thing. Uh, you can only get it then, I think. I'm not actually sure on that one. Oh, the shells are all going low. Oh, I gotta aim off the screen sometimes. I guess it's not just when I'm doing battleships, eh? Playing cruisers as well. Shells going short is a bit annoying, certainly. Poor Brandenburg though, just getting farmed out. We're undone. Mogami, there we go. Let's try and finish this guy off first. We'll use a heal as well. There is a Des Moines here. Okay, we're too aggressive. Well, nothing a good old suicide turn won't fix. <laughs> Best of luck to us. Might be going next here. Yeah, Brandenburg got a shot. Okay, Minnow's got his shots. Yikes. Okay, we only eat one. Still alive. Still alive. Let's go. We hit the Mogami! <laughs> We're gonna die to Minotaur, probably. Uh, he's just gonna full pen us at these angles. Just gotta wiggle. Try and stay alive. 50 seconds for our rep, though. The heal, sorry. Oh! We go dark! 4,000 HP. Can I live that? We dodge most of that. Yep. Okay, this commander might be a bit annoying. <laughs> but we save our rep, and we're alive. Oh, this game, man. I play too aggressive, because I just want the action, you know? That was so dumb. At least I lived it. <laughs> I was I was so dumb to push in like that, he says, as he turns back around on 3,000 HP to push back in again. <laughs> oh, man. I just want, I just want to action. I just want the game. I just want to play the game, you know? Also, wow, notice the heal here now that I'm done healing. Um, you don't get a, you don't get a Minotaur heal. I, I guarantee a Minotaur would be able to heal much, much more than this. This is not good. 
Hmm. All right. Well, we will have to play passive then. That sucks. But there's a Des Moines. We will turn away though for safety's sake. We see a first rate. Oh, I thought he was gonna stop. Oh, there we go, Alaska. Big hits. There it is. You know, it's it is a 12 kilometer radar, so you can get most of these caps very quickly. So I'm actually gonna try it just to see. Yep. You managed to just catch the venom. So that's good. Not only it doesn't really give us that much here, um, but it does give us some information on where he's at. Any sub, hey? Okay. So, Torps for Georgia. Let's see what we can do there. And let's try and Torp this way, maybe, as well. Behind us, Torps! Georgia went the wrong way for us to really do a great job of farming him or getting those torps on, unfortunately. Yeah, this is going to be tricky. Close game, though. That's what we like to see. Just slowing down here. Hmm. It goes dark right away. Yeah, he's kind of slowing down behind this island. Makes it a little harder to farm him. I can't get over this. But you can tell how, you know, our arc's letting us get over here is pretty sweet. But we've only done 70k so far. And we do have to be careful of... Oh, crap. We do have to be careful of the sub uh, showing up behind us and spotting us, potentially. Uh, aim back here, maybe? We'll get some shots in. We do have a fire burning at the moment. That's really nice. Oh, our team's kind of falling apart. It's unfortunate. Gotta aim lower. Blind shot! Okay. Fair enough. I suppose. Yeah, we don't have much HP here. We've got some very healthy ships still available. Alright, gotta go after this guy now. Unfortunately, don't quite have the HP I want to to uh, fully tank all this, you know? Like this. We've got HE for now. But that, I think. Is that a Guden Liu? Test ship? So he definitely just overmatches us with AP. That's pretty scary. Oh, what is this? Oh, camera. Go. Did we get any hits? Good fire. I know. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Unless we dodge. Ow. I'll use my rep actually. Or heal. So sketchy. Can we do it? No, he got the overmatch in. We're undone. 122 into this one. Close, close game at least. That's nice to see. That's decent damage. I mean, 12 fires though. No witherer is a little unfortunate. But fire chance seem to do reasonably well. That's actually better than I would expect for 11% fire chance. So maybe we got lucky in this one when it comes to to that side of things? I don't know. We've been sent to Davy Jones's locker. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure about this commander. But we did all right in this one, I would say. 
Brisbane looks, it feels a little better than the, the times I've played it in the past with a more conceal focused build. Seems like I do need to play more aggressive with it to get the damage out of it. I think I might've been playing too passive back in some of those. Um, this build is not easy. You know, we also didn't have many battleships to contend with either while playing aggressive. So, you know, that might make it look a little better than uh, what it should have done against maybe more crossfires, that kind of thing. So for our second game, it seems that uh, the matchmaker was listening to me. <laughs> got a lot of battleships and we got a carrier to deal with. Uh, this is also an arms race game, so keep that in mind when it comes to seeing how much damage we might do in this one. But this could be this could be a tough one to deal with. Could be fun though. Pushing up here is a little scarier, knowing that my concealment is so much worse. Uh, but we got to try it. Hopefully get in range of this Yamato to start farming him a little bit. We also have a Dalarna on our side, which helps a ton. There we go. Probably get spotted here doing this. Schroeder is a very difficult target to deal with if he pushes around on us. But hey, we're not detected here somehow. I'll take it. Alrighty then, fire chance. Oh, okay. Before he's even say anything. Oh, an insta damage control. Let's go. That's what we like to see. I don't think he gets over this, by the way. I don't think so. See? Oh. <gasps> okay, that's a little closer than I, than I uh, thought it would be, actually. I ain't gonna lie. That was almost really bad. Alright, fire chance. Now's your time to shine. Can we hit up, please? So we're gonna have to torp a Schroeder, basically, is how this is gonna have to go. Uh, I might have done this poorly. Accelerate the ship! Thank you. Uh, where's our Yami at? Where to be found? Okay. Well, torps, damage? Yes, we do get some. Yikes. Tough spot. Freddy's gonna get a shot on us. I have to just hope he misses, basically. Okay, Joker's done. Does he miss? Does he miss? Oh. Uh, okay. Somehow, we are still alive. Oh, Lepanto Sap is gonna be just terrible to deal with. Um, can we find this island? Good fire chance again. Oh. Oh my goodness. Please. Okay, um, well, good reasons to not push up. Your teammates will not support you. <laughs> uh, oh, we're plane spotted still. That's really bad. Uh, okay, there we go. There we go. Undetected, finally. Now we simply run to the back of the map. Behind this island here and uh, try and farm from there. Heal. Eh, maybe, maybe we can get away with shooting some more. You know, why not? Why not? I don't think he's leading me enough. Okay, the last two. You have to be careful, Yami, now as well. Which 
just getting out of range now, unfortunately. Okay. 80k, though. I mean, that's a decent start. Especially considering... Although, there is some torp damage in there, but... Hmm, the damage does feel better than I remembered it feeling. That's really nice. Oh, yeah, we decided to push. Let's go. Ooh, what am I spotted by? Yamagiri's out here. Okay. Sounding the deep. Well, we found the DD. Come on, DPM. It's so low. Please. <laughs> Uh, I'm not sure what he's doing, but hey, we're landing shells now. There we go. I smell profit. We do get him. Is she gonna torp here for the Lepanta? And Yamato doesn't appear to be coming forward, but I'll still send the torps just in case. We'll be very open to Lepanto if he comes to farm us. Uh, I should probably think about AP here. A situation where it'd still be pretty good. Although he did just grab. Ooh, the panto went backwards. Wait, isn't there a smoke? Alright, he's gotta make a choice. The Brisbane or the Dalarna? What's his choice? Not sure if he repped actually. I'm surprised he reversed out broadside to a Yammy. Good fire, good fire. Okay, it is me. Uh, sap. Ouch. NDG from Thunder, okay. Can we run that? Yes, we can. Good. Barely out of Yami line of sight. Uh, terrifying. Ah, aiming too high. Hey, that's the win. 140 in this one. Not too bad. Dodge the thunder even. Okay. Kind of dancing around the battlefield. That's kind of fun. <laughs> uh, maybe I need to play these things more. Radar minnow, that kind of thing. Top score even. Bit of a blow at this one. Kind of how arms race tends to go. Love to see that fixed at some point. But not bad results, honestly. Um, I think I might have been too hard on this ship when it first came out. Or, or the DPM here is just going to be a lot better thanks to this different build. Sacrificing so much concealment. Maybe I was trying to play it too much like a ambush radar cruiser. Um, less focused on damage, more focused on contesting caps with the radar. And then I complained about the damage afterwards. <laughs> that sounds like me. Um, so yeah, pretty decent ship, honestly. Yeah, for 252,000 coal, you know, you get yourself a coupon for that. It's a pretty solid tier 10 to get, man. Uh, especially if you're interested in that Minotaur, Radar Minotaur playstyle, and you want something a little different. Longer range torps, HE, but worse DPM uh, overall. I think I think you'll probably enjoy this ship a lot, actually. And the last downside that I do have to mention, it isn't in the UK tech tree, right? We are in this uh, Commonwealth. Yeah, Commonwealth, they call it tech tree. So you need a special command, or you need a commander for this tech tree, right? Um, you can't just run your British Minotaur commander over here or anything else, you know, it's it's somewhere where you're gonna have to build up a commander from pretty low levels if you don't have any of the Commonwealth ships yet. But considering premiums um, are only available really in the Commonwealth side, maybe you got a vampire already, maybe, maybe you send that commander over, right? And keep in mind that you do have... Um, 
you do have different skills based on different ship classes. So that helps. Um, but it is still something to consider that if you don't have any of these Commonwealth ships, you will have to start from pretty low commander level. And uh, this ship wants a lot of commander skills, but seems like a pretty good time. Let me know what you think in the comments down below if you've already got this thing. So glad to see it back uh, for just a regular coal purchase. They said they were gonna do it, and that's been a complaint of mine that they haven't done it for such a long time, but they did it now. So I really do like to see that. Um, thank you very much for watching this video, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.